Germany is no stranger to producing top-of-the-line weapons and ammunition. Their commitment to innovation and engineering excellence has earned them a formidable reputation in the world of military technology. German tanks, in particular, are renowned for their balance of firepower, protection, and mobility. These tanks have been deployed in various conflicts, showcasing their mettle in Afghanistan, the Balkans, and even in peacekeeping exercises during the Cold War. They have proven their worth in real combat situations. Now that some of these German tanks have been sent to Ukraine, how does Russia react? Join us as we explore this deadly German super tank that shocked Russian invaders in Ukraine. Germany's decision to equip Ukraine with deadly super tanks represents a significant boost to Kyiv's defense capabilities in the ongoing conflict against Russian forces. The massive tank, the Leopard 2, is often considered one of the world's best main battle tanks. It hails from Germany, manufactured by the renowned company Krauss Maffei Wegmann GmbH. This tank, belonging to the third post-war generation, is operated by a crew of four. What makes the Leopard 2 stand out are its remarkable features. These include a flawless fire control system, a formidable gun, and robust armor. Astonishingly, despite its considerable weight of around 70 tons, it can reach speeds of up to 72 kilometers per hour and come to a halt within seconds. Originally adopted by West Germany in 1979, the tank proved its worth and was subsequently exported to other nations. In fact, the Leopard 2 dominated the tank market in Europe, with only a few countries like England, Italy, and France opting for the development of their own main battle tanks. Its production began in 1979, and its initial buyer was Denmark, choosing the Leopard 2 over the American M1 Abrams due to cost considerations. Subsequently, Switzerland in 1983 followed suit, leading to other countries adopting this powerful machine. While the production of the Leopard 2 ended in 1990, this tank continues to receive various upgrades. The latest and most advanced version is the Leopard 2A7+, Plus, which many experts hail as the best main battle tank currently available. One of the most striking features of the Leopard 2A7 Plus is its firepower. This tank is armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun, which is a testament to its ability to engage and destroy a variety of targets, including heavily armored vehicles. The Leopard 2A7 Plus also boasts a fully automatic ammunition handling system, ensuring a rapid and continuous rate of fire. But that's not all. The tank is also designed for versatility. It can fire kinetic energy rounds, which are highly effective against heavily armored targets, as well as programmable airburst ammunition. This versatility means the Leopard 2A7 Plus can adapt to different combat scenarios, making it a formidable force on the battlefield. The protection offered by the Leopard 2A7 Plus is equally impressive. It features Chobham composite armor known for its excellent protective properties. This tank also has additional armor modules to enhance its front protection, ensuring that it can withstand various threats. Its turret is protected by thick composite armor, providing a high level of crew safety. Mobility is another key aspect of this super tank. It's powered by a V12 cylinder four-stroke liquid-cooled MTU 873K501 diesel engine with a power output of 1,500 horsepower. This powerful engine allows the tank to accelerate to speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour, despite its weight of around 70 tons. It's a blend of power and agility that's essential for maneuvering on the battlefield. Additionally, the Leopard 2A7 Plus is equipped with advanced fire control systems. These systems provide the tank with excellent accuracy and targeting capabilities, allowing it to engage and eliminate threats effectively. Its laser range finder and thermal imager, integrated into the gunner's main sight, ensure precise target acquisition. It's an impressive fact that this tank can be configured for different roles, such as a main battle tank or an armored recovery vehicle, making it a versatile asset for any military. However, it's crucial to mention that Ukraine is expected to receive older Leopard 2A4 and possibly Leopard 2A5 tanks. These tanks boast the classic German layout with a rear-mounted engine, a self-supporting turret in the center of the hull, and control units in the front. 
They are equipped with Chobum combined armor and, in the case of the Leopard 2A5, additional armor modules on the frontal plate, significantly enhancing protection. The Leopard 2A4 was first introduced in the late 1980s. It is an earlier version of the Leopard 2 series and is known for its exceptional balance of speed, protection, firepower, and capacity. With a 120mm smoothbore gun, it's capable of firing a variety of rounds, making it a formidable opponent on the battlefield. The tank's armor, designed to withstand a variety of threats, provides solid protection to its crew. One unique aspect of this tank is its mobility. It's powered by a 1,500 horsepower engine, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. This blend of power and speed is crucial for maneuvering in combat situations. In fact, the Leopard 2A4 was often compared favorably to its contemporaries, including Soviet tanks like the T-72 and T-80. On the other hand, the Leopard 2A5 represents an evolution of the Leopard 2 series. Introduced in the early 1990s, it brought several improvements to an already impressive platform. The most noticeable upgrade is its advanced armor protection. The Leopard 2A5 features additional armor modules on the front, increasing its protective capabilities even further. This tank's gunnery systems have also been enhanced. It maintains the 120mm smoothbore gun, but with improved stabilization. Its fire control systems are top-notch, offering precise targeting capabilities. The Leopard 2 of 5's combat effectiveness has been taken up a notch with the addition of a thermal imager, allowing it to operate effectively day and night. Both the Leopard 2A4 and 2A5 have made their mark in history, demonstrating excellence in armored warfare. These tanks have seen action in various conflicts, proving their worth on the battlefield. They remain iconic symbols of the dedication to innovation and defense in the world of military technology. However, one of the drawbacks of the Leopard 2 series has been its relatively weak underbody protection, which ranges from 20 to 60 millimeters. In the event of a mine explosion, the driver's survival was highly uncertain. To address this, the Leopard 2A4M and Leopard 2A6M introduced a superimposed armor plate under the tank, offering greater protection. However, whether these upgraded versions will be supplied to the Ukrainian army remains unknown. The Leopard 2's turret is another area of impressive protection. It features 860 mm thick composite armor on the right side and 660 mm on the left, primarily due to the commander's EMES-15 observation unit located on the right. Additionally, the turret's side plates, angled at 30 degrees, are 310 mm thick. Unlike Soviet tanks, where all ammunition is stored under the crew compartment, the Leopard 2 wisely separates the ammunition storage from the crew. There are 27 rounds of the first round ammunition, and an additional compartment holds 15 rounds. This design is crucial in the event of an ammunition detonation, as the blast's energy can escape through specially designed windows, increasing the crew's chances of survival. Comparing this design to Soviet tanks, where ammunition storage below the crew compartment poses significant risks in case of an explosion, underscores the Leopard 2's safety measures. The significance of Ukraine receiving Leopard 2 tanks lies not only in their exceptional technical attributes, but also in the shift from using Soviet-made tanks to NATO standard equipment. This transition could potentially bolster Ukraine's capabilities in the ongoing conflict, as it continues to fight for its sovereignty. However, the exact impact of these NATO tanks on the course of the war remains to be seen. The Leopard 2 tank is a formidable piece of machinery, equipped with a V-12-cylinder four-stroke liquid-cooled MTU-MB 873K501 diesel engine. It packs a punch with 1,100 kilowatts or 1,500 horsepower under the hood, enabling it to zip down the highway at speeds of up to 72 kilometers per hour. What's interesting about its drive system is that it's ingeniously designed as a one-piece engine block, allowing for a relatively swift replacement of the transmission set using a recovery vehicle, typically within a time frame of about four hours as stipulated by technical regulations. Now, when it comes to firepower, the Leopard 2 doesn't disappoint. 
Its primary armament is the fearsome 120mm smoothbore gun, the Rhine Metal version L44. This potent gun, which remained standard up to the A5 version, boasts two plane stabilization, enabling precise targeting and the ability to fire various types of shells, including the German DM33 Bops with Tracer. This formidable shell can pierce a substantial 560 millimeters of steel armor from a distance of 2,000 meters. It's a testament to the Leopard 2's firepower. The Leopard 2 is not all about its main gun, though. It comes with secondary armaments, including two machine guns, one of which is coaxially mounted with the main gun, and the other serves as an anti-aircraft gun. Different variants of the Leopard 2, be it German, Danish, or Swiss models, come equipped with various machine guns like the 7.62mm MG3, the 7.62FN Mag, or the 7.5mm MG87, depending on the nation of origin. Remarkably, the Leopard 2 stores a substantial 4,750 rounds of machine gun ammunition. In terms of targeting and precision, the Leopard 2 is equipped with a top-notch fire control system known as the MS-15, featuring independent stabilization in two planes. The gunner's main sight is integrated with a Zeiss laser rangefinder and thermal imager. Furthermore, the gunner enjoys an eight-fold auxiliary periscope, the Faro Z-18, enhancing target visibility. Meanwhile, the commander has an independent Rhine Metal Zeiss Perry R 17A2 periscope, which provides exceptional day and night visibility of targets up to a range of 3,600 meters. The fire control system is a crucial element, providing three range readings to the target within four seconds. This data is transmitted to the fire control computer, aiding decision-making. A notable feature is that the gunner can directly see the results of these calculations in digital form. The rangefinder boasts a remarkable maximum range of 10,000 meters with an accuracy of 20 meters per 10 kilometers, which allows the Leopard 2 to effectively target and eliminate moving threats, even while traversing rough terrain. In a nutshell, the Leopard 2's technical specifications, particularly the A4 and A5 versions, are certainly on par with the most advanced Soviet T-72 and T-80 tanks. However, it's essential to mention that these NATO tanks might face stiff competition from the Russian T-90 tank, which Russia has been supplying in large numbers to conflict zones. Now, let's pivot to the heart of the matter. How could these German Leopard 2 tanks potentially influence the Ukrainian-Russian conflict? The supply of 14 tanks from Poland, though significant, might not tip the scales dramatically in a war of this magnitude. However, the implications go beyond mere numbers. For a considerable time, NATO countries were hesitant to provide tanks to Ukraine. Concerns about maintenance and repair, given that all Western equipment supplied to Ukraine is repaired in the West, have been a roadblock. Moreover, there were concerns that inexperienced Ukrainian tank crews might not fully exploit the capabilities of NATO tanks, which could potentially harm the reputation of these formidable machines. Yet, the decision to supply tanks signifies NATO's confidence in resolving these challenges and its willingness to accept potential image losses. This initial delivery of 14 tanks could potentially set a precedent for more significant support in the future. Ukraine's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dmytro Kuleba, has stated that five countries are ready to transfer their Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine. These nations include Poland, Finland, Germany, Sweden, and Spain, boasting a collective arsenal of 1,233 Leopard 2 tanks across various modifications and technical conditions. This extensive support includes 389 Leopard 2A4 versions. Furthermore, reports suggest that British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is contemplating the delivery of a tank company of 12 Challenger 2 tanks to Ukraine. The cumulative force of these armored units represents a substantial combat capability. With such a formidable armored force at their disposal, Ukrainian troops could potentially mount a significant offensive. For instance, they might consider launching an attack on Melitopol and Berdyansk, effectively severing the Russian land corridor to Crimea. Such an offensive could be a game-changer in this ongoing conflict, inspiring Ukrainians and their Western allies, and potentially leading to even more substantial arms shipments. It could set in motion a transformative and far-reaching effect.
Because the Leopard 2A4 and A5 are just enough to help bolster Ukraine's military power, there may be no need to send the latest edition of the Leopard 2 super tank to the country. Interestingly, Germany is even working on a replacement for these impressive tanks. The KF-51 Panther represents a quantum leap in the world of main battle tanks, or MBTs. It was created from the ground up, integrating some of the most advanced technologies available, and it sets new benchmarks across various dimensions. Lethality, protection, networking, reconnaissance, and mobility. Germany will be replacing its Leopard 2S with this tank. When we talk about the Panther's lethality, we're talking about a game changer. It's armed with the Rheinmetall Future Gun System, or FGS, coupled with optimized sensor-to-shooter links, which gives it a lethal edge. The FGS is the star of the show, featuring a 130 MB Yumber smoothbore gun and a fully automatic ammunition handling system. This combination packs a punch, offering superior firepower against all current and foreseeable mechanized targets. Notably, the autoloader can maintain a substantial 20 ready rounds, which makes the FGS more than 50% effective for engagements at much longer ranges compared to the current 120 mm systems. To add to the Panther's versatility, the FGS can fire kinetic energy rounds, programmable airburst ammunition, and the necessary practice rounds. But that's not all. The Panther also comes equipped with various armament options, ensuring it can deliver concentrated firepower for long-range strikes and against multiple targets. This arsenal includes a 12.7 mm coaxial machine gun and the Hero 120 loitering munition. The coaxial machine gun is designed to supplement the main weapon and offers a range of integration options for remotely controlled weapon stations, or RCWS, these systems enhance proximity and drone defense flexibility. Additionally, the Panther on display at Eurosatory 2022 boasts Rheinmetall's new Natter, or Adder RCWS, in a 7.62 variant. Moreover, Rheinmetall's partner, U-Vision, contributes the Hero 120 loitering munition, which can be integrated with the launcher, boosting the Panther's ability to strike targets beyond its direct line of sight. Interestingly, the KF-51 Panther is the first MBT to introduce an integrated survivability concept that's truly outstanding. This concept blends on- and off-platform sensors with active, reactive, and passive protection, not to mention a dedicated top attack protection system, or TAPS. What does this mean? It means the Panther is actively shielded against a wide array of threats, particularly kinetic energy threats, all without increasing the tank's weight. TAPS works to deflect threats from above, while the rosy smoke obscurant system serve to cloak the Panther from prying enemy eyes. To further enhance its survivability, the tank is equipped with a digital NATO Generic Vehicle Architecture, or NGVA, enabling it to deploy additional sensors for detecting launch signatures. This capability is complemented by the tank's ability to recognize and neutralize threats at an early stage, thanks to its pre-shot detection capability. What's more, the Panther is also cyber-hardened and designed to operate effectively in contested electromagnetic environments. When it comes to controllability and networking, the Panther offers a fresh operating concept. It's primarily designed for a three-person crew, consisting of the commander, gunner, and driver in the turret. But there's an additional operator station, which can accommodate a weapons and subsystems specialist or command personnel, such as the company commander or battalion commander. This versatility allows the Panther to adapt to a variety of operational scenarios. So, while Leopard 2 is very good and will be serving Ukraine in the war, Germany is moving on to another formidable MBT. However, in addition to the tanks to be delivered to Ukraine, Germany will also be sending the country some martyr infantry vehicles. The specific number of martyr vehicles that Germany will provide has not been officially disclosed, but German government spokesperson Stephen Hebestreit indicated that approximately 40 martyrs would be supplied, enough to complete a battalion. The Martyr Infantry Fighting Vehicle, a 30-ton tracked vehicle equipped with steel armor, will be another significant upgrade for the Ukrainian Army's mechanized infantry. Paired with the M2 Bradley IFVs from the United States, these vehicles offer Ukraine the mobility, protection, and firepower necessary to launch a major offensive. 
The origins of the martyr can be traced back to World War II when the German army realized the importance of having infantry support to secure conquered territory. The martyr infantry fighting vehicle entered service in 1971 and has undergone continuous upgrades since. Despite its age, the martyr remains a top choice for its balance of speed, protection, firepower, and capacity. It has proved its effectiveness in various battles, including deployments in Afghanistan and the Balkans. The Martyr is powered by a 600-horsepower, six-cylinder liquid-cooled diesel engine, providing excellent mobility. Its suspension system, hydraulic shock absorbers, and advanced transmission make it a reliable and agile vehicle. It can reach a maximum road speed of 40 miles per hour, matching the speed of the German Army's Leopard tanks, and has a maximum cruising range of 310 miles. This vehicle can even navigate through deep water, fording to a depth of up to 8 feet with a kit. It can tackle steep gradients, side slopes, vertical obstacles and trenches, making it a versatile and adaptable vehicle for various terrains. In terms of firepower, the Martyr is armed with a primary 20mm Rheinmetall MK 20 h 202 automatic cannon, capable of firing 1,000 rounds per minute with a range of 2,734 yards for land targets and 1,600 yards for air targets. This cannon's accuracy and rapid fire rate make it a formidable weapon. Additionally, the Martyr features a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and two banks of 76mm smoke grenade dischargers. While the incoming U.S. Bradley vehicles are equipped with tow missiles, the Martyr's primary armament and secondary machine guns make it a versatile asset for both combat support and infantry transportation. Germany's decision to supply Martyr Infantry Fighting Vehicles and Leopard 2S to Ukraine, along with support from other nations, showcases the international commitment to bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities. It's a move in the right direction. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the link appearing on your screen to watch another of our interesting videos. See you there.